everybody. So, um, I am going to share with you guys a book that you may not have ever read before. It's one of Maylee's favorites, and it is called Hedgehogs. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because one of the things I really miss from all of my kiddos is being able to get hugs every single morning and every single afternoon. So, I'm going to read this uh, book to you kind of just in uh, letting you guys know I'm missing that. So, the name of the book is called Hedge Hugs. <clears throat> Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends. There are so many things they like to do together. They like to search for four-leaf clovers in the meadow. They like to make daisy chains in the shade of the old oak tree. They like to splash in petals on the lawn. And sometimes they like to have a tea party by the river. When Horace is busy, Hattie puts on her tutu and dances in the bluebells. When Hattie is busy, Horace searches for spiders in the woods. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends, but there is one thing they cannot do together. They cannot hug. They are just too spiky. They have tried lots of ways to hug. In the winter, they rolled in the snow until it covered all their quills. But the hug was too cold. <clears throat> in the spring, they found some old hollow logs. Horace and Hattie squeezed inside. But the hug was too bumpy. In summer, they stuck strawberries on their spikes. But the hug was too sticky. In the autumn, they covered their quills in crunchy, crispy leaves, but the hug was too scratchy. Poor Horace and Hattie. Then one day, they found something very interesting. It was soft. Was it a hat? Horace decided to investigate. He wriggled and jiggled and nibbled. Then out he popped. Hattie thought Horace looked very funny. Then she had an idea. Hattie looked at Horace. Horace looked at Hattie. They moved closer and closer and closer until, what do you think is going to happen? Let's see. They hugged. The hug was just right. Not cold, not scratchy, not sticky, and not bumpy. It was warm and soft and cuddly and comfy. A perfect hedgehog. So the next time you see someone wearing mismatched socks, or if one of your socks goes missing, you know what it means? A hedgehog has happened. So I hope you guys enjoyed that book, Hedgehogs. And I'm going to give you the AR number for it, and it's right here on this little piece of paper, okay? It is, I don't know if it's going to, let's see, if it's going to be able to focus on it. 181678 is the AR number for that book if you want to take a test on it. I'll read it again to you. 181678. So, I hope you enjoyed that, um, and I just want all of you to know that I'm sending a hug your way. And I can't wait for us to all be together again. But until then, just know that I'm thinking about you guys every time I read this book now. So, bye-bye, guys.